Hello, Miss Erica Rose. Welcome. Thank you very much. Hello. How are you? I'm 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 doing great. The sun is shining. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, it is. A gorgeous day in Amsterdam. <laughs> Quite happy. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, let's start at the beginning. At the beginning, for the for the for all my listeners and and uh, of the show, just explain to them in in short, who's Erica Rose. Hmm. Well, I am an artist, a very creative, metaphysical, mystical kind of being. Um, I'm a renaissance woman. I like to do a little bit of a lot of things. <laughs> and uh, I'm here because I just recently released my album, Rose Garden, and I came to Amsterdam to do a show for the people out here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, how was that? It was good. It was good fun. It was nice to be here. Um, it, you know, it's hard to read the crowd when you're up on stage, but I hope everyone enjoyed it. <laughs> I, I, I certainly did. Oh, good. Yes. Good, very well. I'm happy to hear that. get started in the business explain it well I think I came out as a young young girl very into arts and performing arts and I was dancing at three playing piano at three um, so it was something that I always knew that I wanted to do um, it wasn't very much supported by my, my, my parents though they wanted me to be a businesswoman so um, I ended up going to college for economics <laughs> and I was quite unhappy and I left and auditioned for a school of music and got a scholarship at which point then my parents supported me and my longtime friend childhood friend was an artist at the time Alicia Keys mm -hmm. and um, I told her that I was really really going to pursue this once and for all and I didn't care what anyone thought and she uh, brought me to New York. I was, I was in Florida at the time at school, and we started writing together, and she yeah. started developing me and signed me on to her company as one of her artists. Yeah. So that was when I was about 16, 17 years old, and started working on my project then. And um, after I graduated, she had just released her album, mm -hmm. um, her first album, and she asked me to come on the road with her for a little while. As I was supposed to be released as her artist, that was the plan. <laughs> um, so I went for her, as her personal assistant for about three to six weeks. And uh, the road manager ended up leaving, mm -hmm. and I ended up taking that position over. So I did that for two years. And, and <laughs> I have to interrupt you. At the age of? 20, yeah. Road manager at the age of 20. Yes, okay. yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, so by the end, needless to say, I was quite burnt out. Um, but they, you know... I was very protect I'm very protective of her as my sister, you know, and I didn't want her to be out there with no one having her back and not having the right team. So I stayed on for another two years, but I moved up to management, and I built a team there. I brought my brother in as the road manager, and then finally two years after that, I was able to leave. So three weeks turned into four years, and I was so far from where I wanted to be. Yeah. But I'd gotten a lot of really excellent experience in the business, which was good. So, you know, but it was sort of like the dreams were deferred a bit, you know. And uh, when when did you decide, like, hey, it's my time now? You know, I just woke up one morning. She had a show that day at Radio uh, City Music Hall in New York City. And I just couldn't do it. You know, my heart wasn't in it anymore. You know, I was there for her, but it wasn't helping me anymore. It wasn't, it wasn't nourishing my creative spirit because there was no time for me to be creative. It was like 24-7 business, business, business. And... I just, I just couldn't do it anymore. You know, I said, how, how much longer can I put this off? So I just woke up and said, I'm not coming to work today. Yeah. 
What are you going to do today after all the interviews? I'm going to get out. It's a beautiful sunny day in Amsterdam. I'm going to walk around and I'm going to attempt to do the things that I never got to do when I've come in the past, like go to the Van Gogh Museum, mm. go to Anne Frank's house, mm. maybe do a canal cruise, mm -hmm, mm, mm. you know, have some french fries with mayonnaise and ketchup. Oh. I don't know. Isn't that a Dutch thing? Uh, yeah, kind of. We, we have those things that call them, we call them snack bars. Snack bars? What's that about? Well, you can get all kinds of greasy stuff, like fries, uh, <laughs> some other things, but I have to explain it to you. Okay. You have to see it as okay. well, but it's, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Well, I can't get too greasy, but, you know, I'll maybe try some things. That was funny. What? How did it happen? I think we got the aftermath. Oké, okay. hey, we hebben um, ja, een lekkere, hoe zeg je dat, een frietje gegeten als onderdeel van de exclusieve tour met Big Boy Caprice. En wie begeleid ik? Natuurlijk Miss Erica Rose. Ik begeleid Omar's Keith van uh, hey, Sarah. En uh, nu zijn ze een beetje aan het shoppen. Maar wil je het gehele interview checken? Hey, check gewoon even lijn5.com. Check it out. Oké, okay? doei! Just clap your hands and just move your body. Thank you.